There's a shiny Pokemon available today that only comes around once per year, and we're gonna catch it. Also today, there's a brand new event with some pretty insane features, like super rare and shiny regional Pokemon available for the first time ever globally in the wild, I think, plus some other amazing wild spawns and some shiny dittos to hunt. Gonna be a great day and a great event, and it's raining. Like a lot. Well, for California, this is a lot of rain. Spawns today are gonna be really fun to go through, mainly because we've got the Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan poor monkeys spawning in the wild from around the world. These all could be shiny. They were all released last year during Go Fest Shiny. And I actually never caught this one in my Pokedex. <laughs> so we, I need to, unfortunately, I need to get it for the Let's Go Collection Challenge. And I don't want to catch until it's shiny. So maybe we get the shiny. That's not it. We'll maybe catch that. I don't know. We have a research break box though. This could be like 15 different things. And it's going to be the one thing that can't be shiny. It's Gumi. Okay. And today, Ditto is literally everywhere, and I want a shiny Ditto. I would drop an incense, but I've got a better way of figuring out exactly what the spawns are looking like for this event. You know what we're doing. We are fighting the elephants to drop our daily incense. Let's get a taste of these spawns, shall we? Maybe get a new shiny. Oh god, speaking of a new shiny, there is a thing that we need to drop as well that's not a daily incense that gives us spawns for the one shiny that we're looking for as a part of this event. First of all, let's uh, let's see what else is spawning for this, eh? Litlil. Seawaddle? Spritzy. Temple. Litlil. Diglett. Caterpie. Feel. Diglett, what, what are these? These spawns are garbage. Temple, this isn't even part of the event, dude. Ah, oh, the wind! Ah! Measel. Grimer. Garmada. Is it a rock and roller? Oh, cool. Fun. I can't see where I'm walking because it's too windy. Oh, rock and... Oh, look, I found a ditto. Oh, it's not shiny. Cool, that's off the daily incense. That's fun. So is this. This, by the way, Glaring Stunfisk. It's a really rare spawn, and it's spawning during this event, and can be shiny, and is an amazing PvP Pokemon. I've been doing more of that lately as part of challenge videos. Well, that spawn sucks. And I know you can't see it, but it looks like I peed my pants because of all the rain and wind. So I don't know how long we're gonna be out here for, but we've got the incense, and unfortunately, the next thing that we need to do, which basically can give us the one Pokemon that only comes around once per year. It doesn't require walking, but it makes it better if you walk with it. Why rain? Why today? Pantage, Cricketon, this is the worst incense. Ew, Wismer, oh, the wind, rock and roll, burn. Oh God, I've got 312 kilometer eggs with a minute left on the incense. One, two, three, dang it, and rock and roll. And then I think the last spawn, <laughs> of course it is. It's trubbish. There's too much water on my screen. I can't throw the ball. Got it. And there we go. 25 Pokemon. Oh, Ditto does show. That's fun. That was the worst daily instance I've ever ran in my life. Let's just, let's take a break for a second. Take a break to check out possibly a brand new feature that will literally change this game. Oh my God, it did. Check that out. Okay, we'll do an instant replay, but I invited five of my friends already to this remote raid and the remote raid invite button popped back up. And as you can see, already invited five and I can invite five more people. That's incredible. You can invite 10 now without having to back out, wait till 60 seconds, jump back in. You don't have to do the raid pass glitch anymore. This is actually huge. So you now can by default invite 10 friends to a remote raid. You just invite the first five, sit back and wait a couple seconds. I think it'll take up to like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And then the button will show up again and then you can invite another 10 pe or five people. That's awesome. Also awesome is the brand new legendary raid boss, Thunderous. Now, I won't be doing a shiny transfer challenge for this guy, so let me explain how to take him down, how to get him, and all that good stuff. Thunderous is an electric and flying type, which means it's double uh, weak to rock, so just use rock type Pokemon, like Mega Aerodactyl, Rampardos, Rhyperior, you could also use Galarian Darmanitan, Tyrantrum with rock type moves is great, as is Mamoswine with ice. And I would actually recommend having an electric or flying type Mega when battling against Thunderous because its XL candies are actually pretty good to get. Now, first though, the 100% catch CPs are 1911 non weather boosted and 2389 weather boosted, and it is boosted by rainy and windy weather. Look where I'm in right now. And what about Thunderous's meta relevancy? Unfortunately for the Pokemon, this guy kind of sucks, but his other form, I think Therian form Thunderous, is actually one of the top electric type Pokemon in the entire game. And electric types are very useful because there's a lot of flying type raid bosses. So even though this Thunderous, this form isn't all that good, it is a pretty good one to catch and get candies for so you can power up the other form of Thunderous whenever it comes out. But this one can be shiny, and that's not it. The shiny is actually kind of nice for this one, not gonna lie. This is one of those annoying legendaries that goes left to right though, so you gotta kind of got to deal with that. Okay, the rain's lightening up a little bit, which means we can get to the really exciting part of this hunt and this event. It's the Pokemon whose shiny is only available to catch once per year. The one that you get by completing the collection challenge, which I probably can't complete because I can't find the shiny fan stage, unless we get it. It's Meltan, shiny Meltan. And there's one main way to get it. For starters, I'm gonna make sure it is a steel type, okay? Wanna come to our max megas and search steel, and we'll mega evolve our shiny Scizor into this big bad beauty, shiny mega Scizor, fantastic. And now with a max level mega, we can get as many 
possible Excel candies for this Pokemon as we want. Okay, how do you get Meltan? Go into your settings, scroll down to connected devices and services. And then right there, Pokemon Home. Oh, I gotta sign in. There we go, fantastic. And then you just click send Pokemon, continue, send something cool. I'm gonna send a Ho-Oh, this guy right here. We'll send one Ho-Oh into Pokemon Home. There it goes, fantastic. Oh wait, oh god, the rain, it's pouring rain right now. The rain started back up again. Please God, hurry up. Yes, receive the Pokemon. Receive, just take the, take the Pokemon, please. Okay, I think we, I think we did it. Well, hold on, one second, try and check. God. Well, by doing that, we should be able to go into our items, go to the mystery box. Dog, if you don't receive this Pokemon and give me the mystery box in this pouring rain, I'm gonna freak out. Two thousand years later. Okay, send, transport, God. Nice, oh, it's sent, yes, and there we go, mystery box is available. Fantastic, we can go in and open the mystery box and get our Meltan encounters. Now, if you're walking, you get an encounter, a check every 60 seconds if you're sitting still. I think it's every five minutes. So although it's pouring rain and I'm getting soaked, we're gonna walk this one off and see if we can get our shiny Meltan. And we've got some field research we'll be looking for as well today that gives us shots at, well, the next super rare, super exclusive, hard to find shiny that's a part of this event that I really need super duper bad. But right now we got the down, we've got our Mega Scizor down, and we got an hour, oh. Wait, the box lasts an hour? Oh my god, we've got so much time. It's raining so bad. Let's walk around and try to get the shiny. I actually stand corrected. If you're walking, I think you get a spawn every 30 seconds. And I'm pretty sure even if you're sitting still, you should get a spawn every minute. This is really, really effective, the mystery box. Oh, also, I wanted to show how many we start at right now. 765 XL candies for Meltan. Obviously, I've gained like, I don't know, maybe like 10-ish, but... We'll start there, let's see how many XLs we can get to by the end of this incense, and see if we can get some more field research, because this guy right here, catch a ditto, is super important as a part of this event, and I'll show why. There's the shiny, huh, pink? No. How about this guy? Ha, <laughs> no. Miltan, God, no. Okay, new game plan to help fight the rain, because it's raining a lot harder than I thought it would, and I've actually never done this before, and I'm not sure why. But this is like the mall here in Santa Monica, and there's a lot of Pokestops, so I'm just gonna lure this thing up and walk around in the not rainy circle. And this is nice, because we do, have three catch a ditto quests, which we need desperately. So I'm gonna lure up, hopefully lure in some ditto because they're spawning a ton during this event. And I'll show you what we could possibly get from that because it's big. Oh, it's not as big as these 5Ks. Bam, boom, L. Okay, let's get a shiny Meltan. Let's get some ditto. My God, look at this rain, dude. This is insane. This is, this is not California. Man, like, look at that. How are we supposed to? We can't hunt in those conditions. And speaking of research, there's this brand new Let's Go special research right here with the power Pokemon five times. Wait, let's do that. We got this 100% of a Sceptile, which I mean is just insane and insane that we got. We'll power that up. This Sceptile's useful. That's worth it. And let's see, this gives us some balls, some Stardust, and then some XP and an encounter with a Mankey. That's okay. A little, little underwhelming. Then we must catch 15, make 10, transfer 20. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need one more ditto. That's why I left the safety of the other place. Gotta find a ditto. I got back in my car. Because we've got Mega Venusaur back in raids, and I did want to take talk about this. Mega Venusaur, honestly, a fantastic Mega. It is the second best grass type in Pokemon Go, and a really good poison type, and by defeating it, you can get shiny Venusaur. So that's, uh, that's kind of hot. Speaking of kind of hot, if you're trying to take this thing down, if you're trying to battle this bad boy, best Pokemon to use, your fire types, obviously. And again, it is a great grass type, so it's worth getting energy for. You don't have to break the bank on it, though. Ah, let me defeat this, and I got a big thing to show. Ugh, shiny Venusaur, gosh darn it. Okay, check this out. Okay, for starters, I hatched an egg, but I can't hatch it, because... <laughs> Everything's going wrong today. It's been one of those days. No, my Meltan box is up and I caught a lot of them. 67 to be exact, and I think the shiny rates for Meltan are one in 60. Now searching four star, we got no hundos, and searching for zero percents, we got none of those either. Which means I'm gonna select all the Meltan from the day, transfer these 67, giving myself another 19 XLs. Getting us all the way to 1,038 Meltan XL candy, which means today in total we gained 273 XLs for Meltan. That is ridiculous. And it's really good too because its evolution Mel Metal here is actually really, really good in the Masters League in PvP. I think ranked somewhere in the 20s or 30s if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty good. And since Meltan is a mythical Pokemon, I'm pretty sure every time you catch it, you get a guaranteed XL candy, assuming you're level high enough level to get XL candies. So if you need to get Pokemon to level 50 on your way to level 50, this is one of the best Pokemon to do it on. And this is super important. We can see how many more days? Two days, great. So we could use our Melton box once every two days during this event to try to get the shiny Melton that again only comes around once per year. Also was able to complete page two of the research, which will give us some balls, 2000 XP, and a Metatite. Why do these encounters suck? And we have a bunch more things to do. Almost ready for the masterwork research, by the way. And we've got three checks from the Catch a Ditto quest, which can give either Panseer, Pan Sage, or Pan Poor the three shiny regionals. And let's see if we can get 
One. No, I need this one so bad. Two. No. I will say these were impossibly hard to find, these tasks, catch a ditto. And the dittos aren't all that easy to find either. So grinding these Pokemon through the field research? Honestly, wild spawns might be better. God, no shinies, no. While the search for a shiny or a hundo Meltan continues, we've got three shinies so far. And we've got some amazing videos lined up for the rest of the week. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out one of the other videos on screen. Good luck on your Meltan hunts, and I'll see you in the next video.